Merci à ceux qui sont restés, du coup, c'est gentil à vous. Ça va Ouais Bon, ben on va continuer. Toujours avec nos confrères. Excusez-moi, je mange en même temps. On nous donne plein de choses à manger, c'est pas du tout. Avec donc notre troisième conférence qui tourne autour de la série Spartacus. Et je vous demanderai d'accueillir, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur Liam McIntyre, s'il vous plaît. Ooh. Yeah, we made it. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Good. I'm just I'm watching my football team play. It's a, it's a lot going on. You, you want to finish the... the, no, the uh, uh, it's, okay. it's got 30 minutes. It's okay, fine. Good. No, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Um, bien, yeah. Coucou, ça va bien Ça va bien, ça va très bien. Bien, alors, dernière conférence donc pour notre, notre ami Liam. Est-ce que vous avez des questions, s'il vous plaît, à poser à Liam Moi, sinon, j'en ai quelques-unes. Mais, hey, hey hein. Tu as une question, peut-être There's some amazing hair here. Can we just note that there is incredible hair Yeah, here. Here, here, at the back, and here, there, everywhere. Moi j'ai une question pour commencer. Euh, Liam a joué donc dans la série Flash. Flash. Euh, yes. Quel est son What was your best memories on the, on the Flash set? Oh wow, yeah, the Flash. Quel est son meilleur souvenir de sur la série de Flash? Yeah, no, the Flash was cool. It was like um, one of the not the first thing I did after Spartacus, but one of the first. And I knew that a lot of the creators of Spartacus, like the writers and stuff, had gone on that show and Arrow, which is why half of our cast is in Arrow and all those shows so we um, yeah it was like um, I got to meet Grant the the Flash um, before like he had just been told he was the Flash and so I was kind of talking to him about like oh it's gonna be crazy man like it's you're gonna your life's gonna be like you know he's obviously he's done Glee and stuff like that but he was I was like your life's gonna change and it's gonna be tough but you're gonna be great and, and he's and he's so lovely it's like such a good group of people But yeah, my favorite, I don't know if I was talking about this last time, but like my favorite memory of The Flash was like for maybe like one second, I thought I actually had superpowers. So like there was a, a scene where I come into like the police station and I cause trouble and you've got to translate so I'm going to stop and we'll continue. Une des premières choses qu'il a fait après justement Spartacus a été une de jouer dans Diablo. Il a pu voir les mêmes personnes, un petit peu les mêmes, les mêmes personnes avec lesquelles il avait joué dans Spartacus. Et c'était donc revoir justement toutes ces personnes. Il a vu justement Brian Ryan. Brian Ryan. Ouais. Il a rencontré euh, Hank, euh, donc, qui, 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 qui joue le rôle de de Barry Allen et de Flash, mm -hmm. euh, il l'a rencontré avant, enfin au moment où il a su effectivement qu'il allait devenir ouais. le Flash et où il lui a dit ça va être génial, ça va changer ta vie et ça va vraiment être quelque chose d'énorme. Et du coup, pardon, excuse-moi, je te pique ton boulot, je suis désolé. <rire> Vas-y, continue. Et, et, et du coup, il, enfin, il, voilà, il a dit que ça allait changer sa vie et c'est pour ça qu'il a de très bons souvenirs sur le Flash. Je ne sais pas s'il a rajouté quelque chose, si je n'ai pas écouté après. Donc vas-y. Juste que, que effectivement ça, avait, ça allait être vraiment génial, que c'était euh, les mêmes personnes, en fait, en fait c'était un une sorte de réunion en fait, avec les, les mêmes personnes que euh, sur Spartacus. Voilà. Donc est-ce que vous avez des questions, s'il vous plaît N'hésitez pas, c'est maintenant ou jamais. Allez, on en a une. Ok, allez, allez, allez. Yeah, go. Ok, you, you wanna go. Ah, I thought you wanna go. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Yes, thank you. Cool. So, how was it? How was it to play? So there's, a, there's a movie called Albion and the Enchanted Stallion, which is like a small film, but it has John Cleese in it, and it has like Deborah Messing in it, and it has like what is that? Exactly. Yeah, there's like so there's, there's so many like, really big actors in this movie. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, no, it was like I remember getting this like. Um, offer for a film uh, and it said that John Cleese was going to be in it uh, and I was like for real? Because he's like one of my idols from comedy when I'm growing up and then my agent's like I don't know it seems like a small film I don't know if you want to do it I was like but is John Cleese actually in it? And they're like yeah he's in it. I'm like I don't care I'm doing it and it was the best I got to do like a sketch from Monty Python with him it was like a dream come true job it was amazing. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, that's it. And that's, and that's his longest story. I'm, I'm going to do better at telling shorter stories. No, you can do long stories. No, no, no. I, I wanna, it's, that's, it's, a, it's hard enough. You get two things for the price of one. Wow, really? Yeah, that's, that's a good it. deal. That's a good deal. Okay. Okay. You're up. So, what do you the movie? I'll be in. Oui. Je sais pas si en français, je sais pas du tout comment ça s'appelle en français. Je crois que c'est Albion aussi. Albion. Ouais. Du coup, voilà. Et donc Et donc, euh, comment ça a été de jouer dans le film Albion Au départ, you were. Uh, you didn't know that there was uh, this particular person who. No, I did. I, I, I read that it said, it said he was. John Cleese was going to be in it. It was like. Faulty Towers. Voilà, il m'a proposé ce rôle-là, il a regardé, il a fait regarder la distribution, il a, il a vu que John Cleese, donc il est voilà. un petit mi-temps, de jouer là-dedans. Il a fait ok, je vais être, je vais, je vais en être, je vais y aller. Et donc sur le, sur le tournage, ils sont refaits des sketchs et des, des, des blagues des bon petits mi-temps. Ouais, ensemble, et du coup c'était une super expérience pour lui. Donc voilà. Mais tu ne trouveras le film en français. <rire> euh, je crois qu'on avait une autre question ici. Voilà. Ouais. On a complètement déplacé notre scène, on est parti ailleurs, c'est génial. Hello, uh, I, I would like to know if you can choose a superhero, but what do you want to play with a, a superhero? But what do you do to choose? Quel superhero de, tu choisirais de d'incarner? Oui. Ok, so I said Batman already, so we've done that. Yeah. Batman, and, and, and again, is he a superhero because he doesn't have like superpowers? Has anyone had this discussion? Where he is oh, like, he is. yeah, where he's just, he's a, he's he's a guy money. with money. He's got money. He's a rich guy. He's yeah. like Jeff Bezos with muscles. No. Batman, no? Batman, c'est spécialement mon choix, mais est-ce que vraiment Batman fait partie des super-héros? Voilà. Il, avait, il avait déjà dit, effectivement, qu'il voulait Batman, donc c'est pas, comme Batman, c'est pas un super-héros, on va pas choisir Batman. Let's choose the other one, so... Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that ruins Batman for me, so yeah. I'm gonna say that. Um, oh, I mean, Deadpool would be fun, just because it's, it would be fun. But, I don't know, I feel like um, Superman, too easy, like, no, uh, no, uh, Green Lantern would be fun, uh, that's not feeling right, doesn't feel right. Yeah, I don't know, it's like, um, oh man, this is, oh, because again, like, Iron Man, he's just the same, he's just Batman, but from a different franchise, and then, like, Right? But like, you know, different, you know, I keep wanting to go to like the rich guy, <laughs> the rich guy with cool stuff. Uh, I, think I, I think I know what it is. Um, but no, I want to... Superhero doesn't mean you have... Uh, I guess not. Powers. I guess not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, Wolverine, done, thank you. You fixed Wolverine. it. Wolverine, it's definitely Wolverine. Oh my god, yes, 100% okay. Wolverine, yes. Wolverine, Wolverine, boy. Une Wolverine qui est effectivement 100% ce qu'il voudrait. Oui. And we, we asked Tom Welling a while ago. Yeah. Uh, he was talking about uh, Bruce Wayne because he's a fan of Bruce Wayne. Yeah, sure. So he was asking his favorite Bruce Wayne uh, uh, actor. Oh. Which one is yours? So on a vu tout à l'heure avec Tom Welling qu'il était fan de Bruce Wayne, donc on lui a demandé quel était son Bruce Wayne favori. Donc quel est ton Bruce Wayne favori? Like, uh, it's tough. He's like, I'm definitely a Michael Keaton Batman guy. Uh, except, um, Conroy, you know, like, animated series. Does that count? Can you use it? Kevin Conroy, can you do that? Which one? Kevin Conroy for the, for the animated the series? Animated series, yeah. It's pretty great. I don't... I do, I mean, I do want to see what Robert Pattinson is going to bring. I kind of want him to... Because, like... I, I don't like Ben Affleck's Batman, but his Bruce Wayne's pretty cool. Like, he kind of holds himself like a big, rich, swanky dude. So, I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've got a, a Bruce Wayne that I love yet. And I'm just, I feel like I'm missing something from Bruce. Robert Pattinson serait intéressant à voir. Alors c'est un grand voilà, il reste grand fan de Michael Keaton, donc I think the final answer is Michael Keaton. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, all, all, all complete, yeah, like Michael Keaton. Yeah, you like, who do you like? All right, most of them. Oh, come on, oh, come on, do better. <laughs> well, I will you give you the same answer them. as Tom did. I'm, okay. I'm a Dark Knight guy, so I like... Uh, uh, Mr. Bell. 
Bell. Yeah, Bell. Okay, yeah, Bell. Yeah, and, and it turned out that, that he's a close friend to Robert Pattinson, so you want to see what Robert would do. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I know. Everyone is like, oh, he's the Twilight guy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a good actor. He's a good actor. So we will, we will see. I hope so. Donc voilà, Donc, on disait tout à l'heure, Tom a choisi euh, Christian Bale et qui disait qu'il était très ami avec Robert Pattinson et on attend de voir Robert Pattinson dans le rôle de, de, de Bruce Wayne. Donc, lui aussi attend beaucoup de voir ça. Euh, une autre question, ici. Oh, voilà. Oh, you know. Yeah, come on. Bien. Yeah. Oh, what's up to you? What do you think? No, I'm gonna stay down there. What do you like? What do you guys want? Should I be down or should I be up? Now, you want to be there? All right. Are you, 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 it's good workout, it's good training. No, no. You're young at late. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an old guy, you know. Yeah, that's great, man. You're like 35 tops. Yeah, right? Look at that. You're, you're, you have to be there. You always be nice to the, to the owner. 35 guys. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I would like to know uh, for the TV shows, for the case, what was the most pleasant thing to do for the TV show, and uh, what was most uh, difficult for you, or what you didn't like? What I didn't like, what I, what I like the most and the least? Okay. Yeah. Well, I like the most. Uh, the most was learning how to fight with swords, because I felt like a badass. Although I had this idea in my head that someday someone would walk up and be like, I have a sword, let's go. And I'm like, no, 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 I just pretend. I don't want to fight for real, no way. Um... Voilà, jusqu'au moment où quelqu'un va vraiment venir vouloir avec une épée, il va lui dire, ok, on y va, mais non, 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 c'était juste pour moi. And then the worst was like, I don't chain mail. Chain mail is the worst. Um... Because all the, a lot of the Romans, and I don't really know if this is historically accurate, but they were wearing chainmail, so you'd have to like throw them. And chainmail is like a cheese grater, you know, in place like... So you would throw them and then they would slide down your hand and you would have no skin on your hand. And it was like, oh, that's... Mm. Like you would try to clean yourself afterwards from the fake blood and then someone okay. would come off and it's, oh, that's my actual skin. Oh, okay, cool. That's so, all fun. Okay. Try to risk it, Eddie. Sorry. Bleeding, that's the answer. Good luck. Yeah. So, this is the song. No, but it's that, in fact, it really hurts really, and effectively, it hurts really, and in fact, it's really good. 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 So, that's what he's the most detested in the scene. That sounds right. Then, the next one. Ah, okay. Yeah. You go. Oh, go on. Go boss, alright. Question for when you practice after this. Ah, ah, that's the other thing I hate. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, 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 it gets louder when you when you put up. It's loud. Okay. Um, so it's that's the other worst part. So like the um, I was talking to someone else about this today where it was like you would get up at four in the morning, then you would get colored brown, because I'm too scared, too pale, I'm white, uh, <laughs> in the makeup, and then you would do a day of working out, uh, no, of, of working, and then finish at seven, and then at maybe eight o'clock, I would go and train for like an hour and a half with my trainer, who was like a bodybuilder, looks like he was from the Predator, he's like, massive. And then at like 9.30 I would go home, learn my lines for the next day, go to sleep for like 12 minutes, and then we wake up again, do it again. Four hours. Okay. Voilà. Ouais. Il se lève à 4 heures, il passe, il passe, il passe d'abord au maquillage, parce que ben, il, a, il, il, faut, il est trop blanc. Voilà. Voilà. Ensuite, toute la journée de tournage jusqu'à 7h à peu près. Okay. Et à 7h, on va à l'entraînement pendant une heure et demie, avec, un, avec son coach très fort. Et à 9h à peu près, il rentre chez lui, il apprend ses lignes pour la, enfin son texte pour la, la, le lendemain. Et après, il dort à peu près 10 minutes. Voilà. But, uh, how long did you do that Two years. Two years. Pendant yeah. deux ans, il a fait ça. Donc yeah. pendant deux ans, il a dormi 12 minutes par nuit. Je suis comme un bon résultat. J'ai eu 17 heures de sleep en 2 ans. Wow Non, c'est pas si mal. Même si ma femme était dans une zone différente, ou ma femme à l'époque. 
And so she would call me at like midnight after she finished her musical and be like, hey, like ready to talk. And I'm like, yeah, honey. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. And then she would be like, are you asleep? I'm like, huh? No, 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. You're just <laughs> blinking slowly. And, uh, and then she would get so upset that I'd fall asleep while I was talking to her because I was so tired. Poor thing. Sa femme, qui était à l'époque sa petite amie, était en fait sur un autre envers. Donc quand elle l'appelait après midi, c'était assez difficile de rester réveillée. En fait, oui, oui, je disais, est-ce que tu dors Non, non, je ne dormais pas, je ne dormais pas. Juste en continuer les yeux, tout va bien. Donc voilà, c'était assez compliqué, effectivement. On y va, je crois qu'il y avait une autre question ici, là, c'est ça Dream for life, for everything, for everything, world peace, ending world hunger. Um, it's a big dream. Dream for me or dream for the world? Me? Your, your for big me? dream. Oh, okay, cool. Big dream for All right. Like um, being here was a dream. Yeah, we finished it. We did it now. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah. And we okay. achieved it. Choose another one. Nice. <laughs> well done. Um, I don't know. It, it's been the pandemic. I think for everyone. I I think has. You think again about what you really want, and I don't know. I feel like trying to find what happiness is is a long challenge. So I'm like, yeah, I have a baby now, and that's amazing, and I have a nice little family, and yeah, I don't know. I like like just try to find a, a path to just make life a little simpler, a little less complicated, and find the happiness through it. So yeah, it's. It used to be like, you know, to be in like James Bond and stuff, and you know, yeah, great, of course, sure, thank you. But now it's like, simpler than that, less, less about stuff, more about experiences and moments, I think. Comme il a eu des enfants entre temps, effectivement, il, il, il essaie de simplifier sa vie plus que de la compliquer. Effectivement, c'est ça son, son rêve de vie. En fait, c'est d'avoir une vie qui reste assez simple et qui soit avec sa famille. Voilà. Just not the, just not the fun one. I always, I always feel like I answer that and I'm like, eh, that's not a fun answer. Like, no, I want to go skydiving in the Bahamas. I want to go. Like I want to have a fun answer. answer. You can do funny answers. Yeah, my dream, my dream is to drive the fastest car ever made. Yeah, something like that, like a fun one. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not the best. 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 It's Hello. <laughs> uh, your voice is so perfect for video games or animated movie. Do you think one time in your career to give your voice for video games and animated movie? Oh yeah, uh, video games? Yeah, I've done it. And I will do it again. Can't yeah. stop me. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Which one did you do? I did a game called Gears of War. Where Gears I'm playing, of War. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm the son of... John DiMaggio's Marcus Phoenix, so it was kind of cool. It's like a big deal for me. Um, and then I got to be a Jedi in, uh, well, kind of an evil Jedi, but you know, still a Jedi, uh, in Fallen Order, which was a Star Wars, which is pretty cool. Like, And that nobody told me until I got there. And they're like, you know what you're doing? Yeah, I'm like, no, I don't have any idea. I'm playing like some old man or something. I don't know. And they're like, no, you're a Jedi. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. Um, so that was cool, learning lightsaber fighting and wild stuff like that. Um, and then yeah, I've been in like Star Trek as well, and it's been, yeah, it's been, it's, yeah, it's a good time. I was in Family Guy, that to me is cool. Yeah. It, um, so yeah, I, and it, so mom was right, mom was like, my mom was like, you should say, you should use your voice and stuff. I was like, yes mom, yeah, good. <laughs> Donc, euh, il, a, il a pu participer à plusieurs projets de, de jeux. Ah, pas des projets, des de, de, de jeux, voilà. Euh, dont euh, Family Guy. Donc, euh, Alors, il fait Gears of War, il a fait Star Trek, il a fait Star Wars, Fallen Order. 
Bah, Excuse-moi, à hein, chaque fois je te pique ton boulot. Et euh... vas-y, vas-y, je t'en fais continue. Et c'est tout Ah, ah c'est bon. Ça c'est bien, c'est bien. Ok, okay. non stade. Ok. Non, il a fait, il a fait beaucoup de jeux vidéo. Did, did you do animated series too Yeah, yeah. So I did. Uh, I've done some cool things. I got to be uh, Captain Boomerang in uh, some Warner Brothers, uh, DC, sorry, some DC animated oh, okay. movies. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to be Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like I was gonna be like, what superhero do you want to be? I'm like Aquaman. Kind of already been it. So I'm like, I feel like horrible. I'm like, it, it, that was super cool. Um, you ever seen that one? No. Oh. Was it a, in the animated movies from DC? It was. Uh, it was a World War II one, and he is like not the Aquaman. I'm like so excited to play Aquaman, and then I see the script, and I'm like, what, what, hey, what kind of Aquaman is this? And he's he's a little different. They, they mix it up a little bit. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. Um, Quand il a vu le script, il a fait. C'est quoi ce que c'est Aquaman là exactement Voilà, donc il a fait Aquaman, il a fait Captain Boomerang aussi dans un autre euh, dessin animé de, de DC. Donc il a fait quand même, tu vois, du dessin animé et du jeu vidéo. Donc c'est vrai, il a une très belle voix, donc il faut aller voir tout ça en VO. Euh, il y avait une autre question, il y avait quelqu'un ici, voilà, on y va. Qu'est-ce qui avait été le plus challengeant ou challenging, je sais comment dire, euh, pendant le tournage de Spartacus What about Spartacus The most challenging thing in Spartacus. Challenging Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I mean, there's the obvious ones, like I had to fill the shoes of Andy Whitfield, which was tough. Learn how to be fit, which was tough, and learn how to sword fight, which was tough, and fight, which was tough. Um, I, I think the most surprising thing was we all have the boot camp at the start, like we have to do a whole training thing together. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be like the new guy, and I'm gonna be like, hi, I'm Spartacus. And, I'm just going to be part of the team, but they're like, no, no, you have to be like everybody's leader because you are now the, the leader of the whole thing. And I'm like, I don't know if that's going to work. And then um, I guess I found out, <laughs> found out pretty quickly. I was like the oldest, most grown up kind of guy. Everyone else was like young and hot. And I'm like the grumpy old one. Like, come on, God. no, no, come on, come on, don't do that. And so I'm like, I like started off as the old man in the group. So that was, <laughs> I was all intimidated. I was like, oh, this is going to be a lot. And then I was kind of like, come on, guys. It was, it was, it felt, it felt natural. Again, like the old man answer that I gave before. You're coming in I believe in you. Yeah. Uh, would you have wanted to stay longer in The Flash? And uh, if you would, what would have uh, happened to you? <laughs> yeah, I know. It was, I, did, I love that show. It's really fun. I'm sure if, if anyone watches The Flash, it's like, it's a really good show. It's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, like, I, I was always, I kind of, when I did it, I was assuming they would do like the rogues, because that is like the Flash's main kind of group of villains, you know? So I was always like, oh yeah, one, one season there will be like Flash vs. the Rogues, but it kind of never happened, which was like a bit strange, so I was like, oh, that's a shame. But yeah, in my, in my mind it was going to be like the Rogues kind of come together, which I thought that episode where there was like Captain Cold and Mark Hamill, the trickster and stuff, and we were, I was like, oh, okay, this is where we make all our friends and now we start fighting the Flash together. And I guess, I guess they had a different idea or it was very expensive, one of those people. <laughs> and so, yeah, but in my mind it would have been 
the Rogues versus the Flash, and you know we would have been fighting each other and like you know, and trying to get him to getting in each other's way and stuff like that because they were selfish and evil and crazy. But um, yeah, I think it would be cool. So I don't know if they will ever do that. I hope so, but uh, maybe they have a different plan. But I would have loved to see that. I think it would be really fun. Okay. So did you have one over there? The headphones? All right, here we go. Uh, it's really uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, J'avais une. Uh, la première, est-ce que ça vous a. Avez... C'est quelque chose que vous avez aimé de la première fois que vous avez ça Et la deuxième, si ça vous a plu, est-ce que ça vous dirait d'aller faire un combat <laughs> so first question about would you like to Merci. Okay. <laughs> first question was would you like to learn to fight? Yes. Okay, during Spartacus. Yes. And, and if so, uh, would you like to have a fight with the laser the stabbers? Uh, I like light this. stabbers, sorry. Uh, up there. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Did you like it so? Yeah, I'd like to learn. I'm at my wrist, but I'm, I'm willing to try. How heavy? Okay. I'm good. So, I'm good. I'm good. You're fine. Just after, then go to a fight. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. Easy. Voilà, la, la, la réponse est oui, j'ai bien aimé apprendre à battre. Et oui, on ira faire un, un, un combat au sabre laser. I've done all the responsibilities today, so if I get injured, you don't have to worry. Okay, It's that's perfect, okay. right? Et comme nous en avons fini, donc du coup, avec cette, cette conférence, I will finish with the, the Q&A. Do you have any last words for the, for the guys here? You think it's going to go that bad? Any last words? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> any last uh, but words? I, 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 and my wife, I, am, I love her. Not anymore. Oh, they're really determined to have this question. Is it a quick question? Sure. When is the next season of Flash is going to arrive? <laughs> it's pretty soon. I think it's like almost now. I think they are like releasing it like now. I have to check. I would have to check, but it's like pretty soon. The next season with me in it, yeah, not so sure. Not so sure. No, he said, he said, back on the fan. The prochaine season, it's now, and at the moment, after the prochaine season, it's not because the last one, spoiler alert. Euh, son personnage est, est mort dans la série, bien évidemment, donc euh, il, il, il sait pas du coup la prochaine saison quand est-ce qu'elle euh, sera là. Voilà. So, any word for... Just, no, just thank you. I'm so glad everyone is back. And yeah. You must be so over the moon. It's been so popular and it's nice to see everybody back again. And, um, you know, it's, life is maybe not normal, but we are able to be together again, having doing the things we love, and it's amazing. So, thanks for everybody for coming and being part of the new craziness. Thank you very much, merci beaucoup Liam. Merci à vous. Okay. Take my phone. <laughs>